back in the 997. This video is about the short shifter. We're jumping forward here. Let's go back to the beginning and start the video. I just I uh, just dropped off the car at Auto House Hamilton. Uh, it's going to be there for two days. Uh, they're going to fix the uh, short shifter, fit the short shifter, and they're going to do the major service. So that's where it is at the moment. Next time you see me, uh, I'll be at Auto House Hamilton, which will be tomorrow. So that was two days ago. It's now Friday afternoon. I'm on my way to Auto House Hamilton. Uh, I decided to walk from the station, from the train station. It's not close, it's a very hot day, but it's okay, I need the exercise. So I'm going to pick up the car, uh, pick up the 911. I dropped it off uh, for the major service and to get my short shifter fitted. Both have been done and the car is ready. I mean, the thing is, I should have, uh, I should have done a before video, which I just was reminded by my mate. Uh, I didn't do a before video. I didn't show you how much play there was in the gear. Uh, I'm hoping it's a lot shorter. Um, not good, am I? Not good. How can you do a Porsche video if you don't show before and after? Anyway, uh, let's go and pick up the car. Welcome back to the 997. Picked up the car yesterday from Auto House Hamilton. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Uh, had trouble setting up this GoPro once again. Anyway, picked up the car from Auto House Hamilton. Um, you saw me yesterday going to pick it up. Um, service is done. Uh, got the short shifter fitted. I'm going to talk about that in a second and uh, the cost of the service and the items that showed up that certain little things that I might need to get fixed one large sort of item that might need to be fixed um, I'm going to go through that in another video today I just wanted to I literally just wanted to talk to you guys about the short shifter uh, am I happy with the short shifter? not really um, to be honest I can't really tell that there's that much difference. I know when you read the specs on the, this is the 997 SSK kit, which is the Porsche part, factory part, 997 part. Um, I have to admit, when it was fitted and I came back home, uh, I actually had to look at the part number on my old one just to make sure I didn't already have a short shifter fitted and I just fitted a second short shifter. That would have been hilarious, but it wasn't the case. It was a different part number. Uh, the car did have the original um, standard shift. Now, going back to the, um, to the feel of the short shifter, I think it feels, I think the shift feels, I don't want to say newer, but I, because it is a newer, a newer unit, but I think it does feel, um, it might feel a little bit more precise, um, I feel that from first to second gear is easier than what it was with the original shifter. Um, I don't really feel the, 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 the amount of throw being that much difference. And like I said, if you look at the specs, they say that the Porsche one is 20% is shorter throw. Maybe it is 20% shorter throw, maybe I'm a little bit disillusioned because I drove my mate's uh, GT3 and he had the numeric shifter. The video is here, I'll put a link if you haven't seen it already. And that is like so short and really, really good. And I, I said that. 
that to Steve last night when I was talking to him or messaging him. And I don't know, it, it just doesn't feel, I don't know, I expected more, I think. I expected more. And I think I vaguely remember someone telling me this. I don't know who you were, maybe you remember. I vaguely, someone telling me this in the comments that I should go for the numeric. I shouldn't just get the Porsche one because I won't notice much difference. I kind of think you were right. Um, but then again, it does feel fresher, it does feel newer, it does feel more precise between first and second. I don't feel like going from first to second is, is notchy. Uh, it's hot here in Sydney, so that's not the problem, I guess. If it's cold weather, maybe you're going to feel that, that resistance more. Um, you know, I don't want to be a complete, like... Uh, Sorry, I'm just watching here because I'm not sure where I'm going. I'm on the old Pacific Highway again in Sydney and I haven't driven this for a while. And there's bushfires today. It's very smoky here. The camera just cut out. Sorry, I'm back again. Um, there's bushfires here in Sydney, so I think this road is still open. I don't think there's any fires here. It's just really, really smoky. I don't know whether you can see it. Anyway, if you're thinking about getting the, the short shifter for your 997, I think about it a little bit more. Um, it cost me, I can't, I think it cost me around 500 Aussie for the unit, 200 and something pounds, 250 pounds, maybe less than 500 Aussie. I bought it in from Design 911 in the UK. I don't know exactly how many hours it took them, it took them to fit it uh, at Auto House because the hours are all mixed in. But it looks like it, based on the cost of my major service that they quoted me, it's probably around three hours, three or so hours to fit it. Um, they did a really good job fitting it. There doesn't seem to be any damage or anything like that. Uh, I mean, it work, it's working well. I mean, just shifting then from uh, fourth back to third. I mean, I can notice the shift is slightly shorter. It is slightly shorter. I just thought, like I said, I would notice a hell of a lot more difference. Um, but anyway, it's fitted. It's done now. Um, Maybe I need to go on some more spirited drives. Uh, it's double demerit points here in Australia, which means you lose your license a lot quicker. Uh, I'm on the old Pacific Highway, there's traffic in front of me, which is why I'm going slow, but I've got to be careful. Um, I have to be careful. Um, so that's about it. That's an update on the short shifter. I know I didn't show the install of it. It's not so easy to do that when I put it in an auto house and it was there. My car was there for the two days. My car was there for the two days and it's running really well. I mean, the car's running really well. There were a couple of problems I had from the service. I'm going to do that in another video. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that in another video, but let's just say they lost something and they're trying to find it. And I had a few issues with uh, other things that need to be fixed, but that's another video. Um, so anyway, that's the final uh, update to the short shifter. I know I'm not showing you guys, but there's not really much to see. It looks exactly the same. Um, not a lot of difference. Uh, not saying it's awful, but I just thought it was going to be uh, a lot more engaging, and it kind of isn't. Um, am I glad I did it? I don't know if I'm glad I did it. I don't know if it's made a huge difference, like I said, but only time will tell. Anyway, back in the 997, it's really good to be in Australia. It's really good to be driving the car again. It just makes me how much I realize I need a car in, uh, in Bahrain. I keep saying it, but I have to do something about it. Anyway, um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you very, very shortly. Bye for now. Just before I go, actually, I was just going to say, if you've installed the um, short shifter kit, the 997 short shifter kit, uh, I forget the code number, I might put it in the description actually. If you've installed that into your car and you took out the original shifter, uh, let me know what your reaction was. Did you like it? Do you think it made a big difference? Um, I'm just wondering if I'm reading this wrongly and I'm expecting too much because I did drive my mate with, mate's GT3 with a numeric. Um, but anyway, let me know in the comments. Bye for now. Uh, if you like the video, like always, give it a thumbs up and thanks for subscribing. Bye for now.